This segment is sponsored by Davis and Green, proud sponsor of Special Olympics Virginia and the Polar Plunge. The 2021 Polar Plunge returns to Richmond in just a few weeks. Here to share more is Greg Green, president of construction at Davis and Green. Always good to see him. And Caitlin Sunheim, director of development for Special Olympics Virginia. Good morning to you both. Good, good to morning. see you. Greg, good to have you back. I know. And it's, it's been, been a while. Yeah, yeah it's, it's great to see everybody face to face again. And Caitlin, I don't think I've got a chance to talk to you before. We were talking before we came on camera. I did the plunge. Well, I, I emceed the plunge <laughs> for several years. I didn't actually jump in. I was like, oh, no, I've got a microphone. I can't. But a lot of people have done it in the past obviously we didn't get to do it last year so we're back this year and a new venue which is a whole different ball game at Pocahontas State Park yeah we're really excited as you mentioned last year we were virtual so we everyone had the opportunity to plunge their way from home so mm -hmm. we got some really awesome video footage of people running through snow or jumping in their pools in their backyard but we're really excited to see everyone run uh, into the water at the park, and it's the first time we'll have a, a true natural body of water in yeah. Richmond to run into. Yeah, and Pocahontas is such a beautiful setting out there, and uh, the, the, I, this is going to be great. It's a whole different level now at this point. Yeah, we really want it to be a family-friendly event, so we want people to come out. We'll have some food trucks, we'll have music, we'll have an MC, uh, and then, of course, the the big event, yeah. the running into the water. Yeah, woohoo! <laughs> All right, so, uh, Greg, I know that Davis and Green is always involved in the community. You've been involved in this event, particularly for a long time. Yeah, absolutely. This is near and dear to my heart. I was one of those people that jumped in in the Richmond inaugural <laughs> Polar Plunge yeah. when there was that big thick yeah. ice <laughs> on the top. But, uh, but no, we, we love supporting the Special Olympics. Um, obviously, Special Olympics is a great cause. And, um, and, and when people come out there, they're gonna be all dressed up. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if, if you just had to sum it up, it's fun, right? Yeah. It's just a fun event. Yeah, I remember we had father, daughter, father, son, mom, son, all the, all the different combinations. The police academy from Chesterfield County <laughs> came in and those guys were like, oh yeah, this is nothing to it. And then to watch their reaction, you know, they were, <laughs> I'm macho, I can get in. And then watch the reaction once they hit that icy water. It is a great party for a great cause. And Special Olympics does such a great job all year long. Obviously, the, you're very motivated to help. What is it like working for an organization like Special Olympics? I mean, I say I'm so blessed to go to work every day at a job that I absolutely love. It feels more like fun than it is work, but we're doing really important work. So our athletes, you know, the last 20 months, we've all kind of got a little glimpse of what it's like to be an athlete. One of our Special Olympics athletes, we're, we were a little bit isolated. You know, we weren't necessarily with all of our friends 24 seven. And so uh, it just reminds us that Special Olympics events are where these athletes get to reconnect with people from throughout the state that they love, whether it's volunteers, family members, friends, or fellow athletes. Um, so yeah, just, just blessed to do what I do and yeah. do it for the athletes. Very for inspiring. Sure. If somebody wants the honor of being able to plunge, how much does that cost and how do we get it done? Yeah, so they can head over to polarplunge.com and then select Richmond Plunge. We do have other plunges throughout the state, but obviously we're really excited about Pocahontas State Park and the Richmond Plunge. And then they can fundraise um, as much as they want, but they need to raise at least $100 to run into the water. So. Oh. Uh, it'll take probably two texts and one email, and they'll hit they'll hit that hundred dollar mark, and then they'll be good to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I know Davison Green always shows up. I know you've jumped in. I know other employees and the part of the team also take part at, from Davison Green. Yeah, we'll be there. We're gonna we're gonna be in full force. We'll be. In, we have uh, a costume idea yet? We, we don't have a costume. <laughs> idea, but we'll be there. a little bit of time to there work on that. Definitely will. Well, it is, it, you know, the Summer Olympics, it's usually about 100 degrees. And so then you go to the other extreme this time around and really looking forward to it. Thanks for everything you do. Like I said, in the past, I've done both the summer and the polar. And, uh, you know, the chance to be around these amazing athletes and the, the people that support them is, is, you come away inspired. So thank you for all you do. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for supporting us. Yeah. And obviously the community as well. Yeah. And you're going to be there, right, Bill? <laughs> uh, I'm working on my costume. <laughs> I'll, I'll be disguised. <laughs> All right. Congratulations again. And let's get everybody out there. Uh, take part in the 2021 Richmond Polar Plunge happening 
December the 11th at Pocahontas State Park. For more information, call 804-346-5544 or visit the website polarplunge.com. Connect on social media at Polar Plunge Virginia on Facebook and on Instagram at Polar Plunge VA.